What's up guys and welcome to today's lesson. We'll be looking at an amazing trick to sounding a lot heavier on the keys, alright? So if you're excited to join this lesson, then let's get right into it. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how this sounds like, alright? So what I'm going to be doing pretty much is... Um, so uh, let, me, let me take in the key of C sharp, okay? And for example, if I play the one chord, okay, I'm going to look at the third. Uh, I'm going to play a chord on the third of the one chord. Okay, so what's the third of the one? That's the three. So one, two, three. So I'm going to play the chord. The three chord will usually be a minor chord, right? So you realize in the moment I play that simple triad over the one it becomes a seventh chord okay and i'm going to open that up okay so that's level one we just take a regular triad of the third and open it up okay so that sounds like this okay so if you take well let me just add the octave here okay you see how big this chord now yes but it's just your regular one but with a th uh, triad on the third, so that, okay? So in the key of C, the one chord is gonna be like this. Okay, back to C sharp. Okay, if I take it up the scale, two will be, and then the third, regular, major, all I do is add the octave, okay? And there's a minor seven. And I go to the three. Right? Go to the four. Play the third, uh, the minor chord of the six and add the octave on top. Okay, five is a little bit of an exception because if I try to, well, technically you could do this. Uh, and the, the chord here is a diminished chord. Okay, you can play that, but for today, I'm just gonna keep, take that here, and it'll just be like a regular five chord, right? Six. Okay, try out on the right, on the third, over the six, add octave, all right? Seven. Okay. My seven chord, I always like to use the five. So I'm playing, the triad I'm playing in this case is a five triad. That's the three, uh, the seven is a little bit of an exception as well. Um, yeah, but of course you can also play it regular like this. Uh, if you want to go, you know, strictly according to the rules, then you'd have to play this over the seven, which is acceptable if you want to play like, uh, at 736, like. Depends, right? But for today, for the seven, I'm going to just use uh, use this five chord on top and bring the octave down and play it like this, okay? So take note of the, that for the seven and then the five, we just keep it regular, okay? We can add the, th the two here as well. So let me go up the scale, right? Okay, very good. So I'm gonna play a simple song. Um, well, you probably have seen it on this channel before. It's above all and the the chorus crucified. So it goes like one, two, seven, one, and plays that twice and goes to six, five, four, three, two. It's just going up and down the scale. So I'll put a progression up and you see how this sounds like. So 
let's bring our loop in and hear how this goes, right? Alright, so this is this is how uh, it goes. So on a on a normal day, this is a regularly you would play one, two, seven, one, right? Seven, one, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, three, four, five, and one. But when we open it up, then we can play. Uh, so when you play a regular triad on the third of the root note, it comes together and forms a seventh chord, right? But when you play a, a seventh on the third over the root, you get a ninth chord, right? For example, this is the one. If this is the third, if I play a triad, which is the regular minor chord over that, you see that forms a C major seven. But if I play a minor seven over that, that forms a C major nine, you see that? So, that's how you, you play like chords that are you know, a, a bit complex, but not so complex if you look at it. So if you have comfortable with seven chords, we can add the seventh up on top here. So this will be like major nine instead of major seven. So. So that, yeah, it, it's, it's a bit tricky on some of them, right? So that's the same way if you play an E, if you play an F, uh, F sharp major over the E flat, you get an E flat minor 7. But if you play an F sharp major 7 over the E flat, you get an E flat minor 9, right? So and I like to stretch my thumb here like that, right? If you have a, a chord progression like a, a six to a two, uh, let's say a six uh, to a two. So if you're playing some uh, kind of you know chord progression like this, you can either go with well usually a normal six. You go like six and then two but if you try to use this kind of big sound you can then go with the triad here octave like this so right or then you can go with the major seven here to form the minor nine and then the major seven here to form the minor nine as well so if we have like uh, a loop in how's this gonna sound like all right mm. 
So this, these are some of the things you can come up with. I mean, the chord progression might be quite complicated, uh, you know, simple, but with these uh, simple tricks, you can have a heavier sound in your chord progression. So, I mean, pick up a couple of songs, you know, chord prog the chord progressions already. Use this open uh, sound on the third and let me know um, how that goes you can just let me know in the comment section below if you found this uh, lesson useful give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends to to benefit them as well thank you so much for joining me in today's lesson i'll see you in the next one